Go on then, ask me anything. So, we'll start off, and Whirlpool Boy says, congrats. Thanks. <laughs> and anyway, moving on. So, ARCFA22 says, what is your profession? How old are you? I'm a mechanical engineering student and I love washing machines since I was one. I have a couple of machines, but it's hard to keep June them as a student. Love your channel. I'm subscribing for it for at least eight years because I remember... One time subscriber! Yay! This is good. I know. Uh, because I remember your Bosch Logics videos. Don't know what that face is. Um, thank you for letting us ask you. What? So I'm 28 years old. Um, my actual day job, um, outside of YouTube, I am a machine operator for uh, a paper coaters. Um, doesn't pay very well, but it's a, it pays for the bills. Um, and actually, I've been interested in washing machines since I was also one. So, yeah, it's never... That's where it's all started from anyway. There were pictures of me as a kid next to our 9920 washer dryer that we had. Where are they all going to get them? Well, uh, the actual one I'm on about's not... I can't find it yet. Oh, minute. Wow. Planning. Um, planning. Yeah. Go on, next question. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Ellie55121 says... When you first started, have you ever imagined to go that far? <clears throat> As in, what, come 13 years down the line, yes, but to be as big as the world, I am now, no, definitely no, no. I did it for, like, you know, um, to, because I found a world of more than one person to wash machines, so it gave me a chance to um, talk to other people with my passion of washing machines, you know. So, um, that's why I actually started it as well. You don't have to do that. I, I just wanted to feel included, Matt. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so, Pralka Pralka, or Washing Machine Washing Machine for non-Polish speakers, has said, Hey, so I have been a fan of you for quite a long time. I have been watching your videos for like seven years now, and I've got these questions. What is your favourite washer you ever got? Uh, two, what do you think of pure Amica washers? Made by Amica and not by Vestal or whatever. Three, this is one one. Uh, what was the hardest issue to fix on a washing machine that you had? Four, what was your most hated washer? And five, what's your favourite video? That's all I want to know. Have a nice day. So start off with one. <laughs> what is the, your favourite washer you ever got? I don't know. I just have like a top ten. For, for, the, for this question. You've yeah, got but everybody asks what my favourite. There's a lot there. You, you, you've, got, you've got to answer. Arr! Otherwise, all of them are going to be burnt and thrown off a cliff. You, you, can, you can save one. <laughs> um, uh, it would have to be a hot point. Go on. I don't know if I have to say my WT960 mm -hmm. or maybe, like, like I say, a, or a 9.5 or a 9.9. But I haven't got my 9.9 yet, so. If I was doing hot points, I'd have to go 18 series for build quality, 9.5 for programming. Yeah. Ugh, that's hard. You, you want a definitive answer? I want us to save. Uh, it's still in the shed, in the garage. The WT nine hundred and sixty. Mhm. Mm I get. I, I don't know. It's one of them. I I actually like editing hot point videos more than anything else. Even though, hot points, you know, not that either. That you know, they don't, I'm not good in anything. Strangely specific, but I'll I'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Two. <clears throat> Two was, what do you think of the pure Amica washers, and then in brackets, made by Amica and not Vestal or whatever? So, the closest I've ever come to is one of these, oddly enough. Um, it's a, an Ami I call it Amica. M-I-C-A. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm Ika, I call them. Um, or pronounce them as. So the closest I've ever come to is one of these. But we did actually have pure Amica ones, but I've never had one in um, or experienced one ever. So I can't really answer that. Um, based on the Samsung versions, which have pretty much most of the Amica stuff, it's quite flimsy and wobbly, all of it. Apart from obviously the program, which is Samsung's own on this for some reason. I don't know what the Amica ones are like. Because obviously this is the point where Samsung bought the Amica factory mm -hmm. in 2009. So they used up what was spare and put their own door on and obviously their own display on. And that was it. And then they sold that off. And then they brought in the new diamond drum versions in then. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit hard to answer that question. But there you go. That's about as far as I can get to it. So my actual opinion is... I don't know, because I've not had a pure Amica one in yet. Okay, this is it. Number three. Uh, um, Racer JA says... Keep no, it. hang on, number three. Oh. Other questions. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, five questions. Uh, what was the hardest issue to fix on a washing machine that you had? Can I just in interrupt you? you still not fixed that button on my dryer, so that's probably one that you should concentrate on for your next hardest issue. That's not the hardest <laughs> issue, that's just time. That's just like, oh yeah, I used to bring my toolbox and like, like go up to it and like look at it, <laughs> and it's probably fixable. But the hardest one I ever came across, um, I had a Bush, a black Bush washing machine in, and when you turned it on, it was making this electrical burning smell, <coughs> and it just wouldn't, nothing would light up on it, right? But the door would lock straight away. I think I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I bought another board, thinking it was the board. Put that in, and it was still making electrical smell. The door was locking, and it could start a cycle, but it would just constantly drain mm -hmm. or fill with water. It filled water and wash, but would not spin at all. Mm -hmm. Which then later on I found was probably a board fault that I bought with the board. But I could still, this electrical smell would not go away, basically. So I ended up getting it scrapped, and I, to this day, don't know what caused the issue. And that that's and the only other issue I've ever had. I think that's it, because all the other ones I've had, if I've ever been, I can't get hold of parts. I've got to scrap some sometimes, it's because I can't get hold of parts. So, like, I did Electra, Vest Electra, at mm -hmm. 1600 spin motor. The problem was I couldn't get hold of a motor that fitted properly. That was a really nice machine, though. Like, for Vestal. Because it was the only one that went to 1600. And quite rare. But things happen. What's the fourth question you asked? Uh, number four is, what's your most hated washer? Innocent Moon. I agree. <laughs> By yeah. far. And then the dryer, if I go with that, that would be that. And one that I had, whatever that was called. I don't mind it. <laughs> That's because you've got a house that functions. Uh, my most hated dry, dry ears, just in general, are candy and hoover ones. I, I can agree with anything candy, really, to be honest. It's just... Yeah. Anyway. And the fifth question you asked, which was a lot. Favourite video of yours, so I'm presuming that means a video that you've done yourself that's your favourite. Yeah, the video I've done myself. Um, oh, it's got to be the... Hot point first edition that accidentally destroyed itself. <laughs> was that WM52? No. Oh. No, that jumped. But do you remember the first edition that, like, started where the spider snapped and then it just started eating itself and jumping away? I've slept since then, probably yeah. not. It's got like half a million views, I'm sure you've not seen it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he said, that's all I want to know. Have a nice day. Yay! Go on, next question. Uh, Racer JA says, keep it up, Matt. I enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. Uh, Kyle Wright says, how many washers do you own? I'm presuming that says own currently, and what is your favourite out of all of them? Well, to answer that question, there's now going to be a series of clips. That's only like I just. Also, washers installed in here. I can get open. Ha <laughs> ha
We're taking a look. See what you can see in there. So, Matthew, how many are in this acquaintance? I don't know, at least 40. And how many of those 40 actually work? 12. 12. That's a good guess. We'll go with that. <laughs> There's a lot of projects in here. So, tell us a bit about what's in here, um, what's happening with everything, um, what the purpose of this shed is. Well, garage. Garage? Yes. Well, people ask me how many I've got, and I go, I don't know. So, this is basically all we're doing is we're not going what, what purpose. It's just literally, here's 40 more watches. Oh, okay. And then we get to the workshop, and he's like, here's some more. We get to your shed, here's some more. Yes. And we get to my house, and go, here's some more. Right, so, final thing. So, this is my actual home. And if we go in the kitchen, we've got more washing machines. And there's my daily driver dishwasher, my current daily driver washer, the AUG, that I'm selling. This is to the collection. But the dryer, the meal and have a dryer is the daily driver. And that was the daily driver. But nothing wrong with that, it's just i have got to try the AG for a change. Oh, and then there's this as well. The little baby Bendix is underneath there, out of the way. And then I edit everything here. Oh, and then there's also one in the shed. Right, so POV this time, because uh, my mate, mate isn't with me. Uh, anyway, this is where I actually keep all my washers. So we've got two out for scrap at the minute. Wait for scrap man. And welcome to my workshop, if we've never seen it before. So you better get your counting out. So we've got two, three, four, five, some fire pit drums, stuff, six, seven, eight, let's close the door. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, what hang on. Do we get to eight before? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why I never count. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, uh, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 101, 102, and then 103. Now, some aren't even mine. So this, this is the Philips Electra. That's actually Luke's. 104. Which is Luke's. Then we've got 105, which is also Luke's. We need to sort out. 106, mine. 7, mine. 8, broken. 9, 10, 11, broken. But it can be fixed. But that's also going to Australia. 12, 13, going to Australia. 14, 15, 16. Sorry. Squeeze past. 
Not bad, eh? 17, 18, 19. I suppose it's been drier. Might be one. And then in here, we've got like daily runners. Well, the dryers are anyway. 120, 121. We've got that. 122, 123. That's never actually. It's in here permanently, but never plumbed in. I suppose I could actually plumb it in. It is possible. and then behind here 54, 55, 66, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 160. So yeah, this is why I never count them, but there's 162 machines just in here alone, I think. Plus 40-ish at the garage. And then there's some at my house, and then there's three in my mum and dad's back garden, and then there's like ten of mine at Luke's house in his shed. This is why this is a bit of like a trade thing here. So the, the, his machine, his like machines that he cares about, but not quite, cares about, wants to protect are here rather than his shed. Yeah. Plus there's one in the car. <laughs> so all in all, I think I've got about 220 machines currently at any like point. So this is why I'm like mid sorting out and mid selling them as well. Trying to get rid of some. Um I mean, not everything is for selling. Quite a lot isn't for selling. You know. I mean, that, for example, is going full scrap, but you'll see that in their testing video. Um, but we just need to, like, sort out and cut back. That needs a small repair on that. But that's forever, that machine. This is great, great for duvets. Fantastic. This is permanently plumbed in. What was the worst washing machine you ever had? So that's a bit of a repeat. That's a repeat question in St. Moon. Uh, John Wesley says, if you could design a brand new wash cycle, never seen on any machine, what would it be? That's number one. Number two would be, would you rather modern machines were much more expensive but better built or cheaper like they are now and worse quality? And then three... Favourite machine to look at, forget noise, performance, quality, ETC, just purely based on aesthetics and great idea doing question and answer video by the way, congrats on nearly 50,000. Thank you. Um, so number one, so if it created a wash cycle, what would it be for? Um, hmm. A wash cycle that's never been seen on any machine before. I don't know. Sometimes I get hold of machines with like specific like programs and I kind of go and just don't agree with what they're designed for. It's like Hot Plates Duvet that only goes up to 30. Which makes no sense. Exactly. Or like sometimes there are bed and bath cycles or bath cycles that only go up to like 40. Which makes no sense. There you go. Bacteria. So I'd modify them, but to actually like create a brand new cycle for something. Um, I'm trying to think of a cycle that's, that's something that we use that we don't use to its full extent. Yeah. For me, it would be an underwear cycle, just purely for underwear. Right. Because my mum always washed 
socks and pants separate to everything. And she still does today. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think a socks and pants are a pre-wash. Um, ideally a pre-rinse, but I would buy a pre-wash. And then obviously a long 60 degree wash and held at 60 degrees. And then um, obviously uh, three to four rinses and a mm -hmm. fast spin. Well, sort of fast to but kind of limited to about 1200. Because 1200 is fast enough for most things because they're not heavy cotton. I mean, it's faster than any washer either I own does by <laughs> 100 RPM. So I think that's what I'd do. I'd, I'd invent it underwear cycle. Um, the only thing close, uh, like, there's a vest, there's a media made machine that used to be on the market. I think it was White Knight as well. It used to be branded White Knight. And they had underwear, and that's, it was essentially a cotton normal with a pre wash added to it. But you could use it any temperature you wanted, and that's all it was. Mm -hmm. He then asked, what, what's my favourite machine? Um, number two was, would you rather modern machines were more expensive but better built or cheaper like they are now and worse quality? No, I'd have, rather have modern machines designed as they are still but better built. Just so, but I think they should just be more pricier to stop people just chucking them out straight away. Um, that's the problem. I mean, if I was to design the machine, I'd like a vintage build quality kind of thing with modern programming. So you take like an old Bosch and then add like a, a, a single sector dials kind of thing. So, you know, because I like the single sector dials because they actually don't break anywhere near as much as mechanical dials because mechanical mm -hmm. dials are far more unreliable actually. But the control boards that are controlling them are a lot worse today than what they used to be. Yes. And that's why they break. And then obviously, of course, you've got bearings and uh, spiders which you can't change anymore. And they're still built maybe as rubbish as they used you know some bearings and spiders were rubbish back in the day but at least you could change them today you have no choice you know and you have to throw out the whole machine cough cough hot point no hot point are pretty good it depends um hot no, point... I, meant, I meant like years ago like spider and oddly enough hot point are opposite now they've gone even though i didn't own them i think hot point spiders and bearings are better than what they used to be that's what i was saying yeah yeah, which is quite odd. Um, and then the final question was, what's uh, your favourite machine? Favourite machine to look at, oh, and then forget at. noise, quality, performance, qual everything just purely based on aesthetics. I like the, I really like the Qualtis. It's design. quite fresh, isn't it? Yeah. Like. It's kind of a timeless design, so you could fast forward in 20 years time and it will still look modern then. I remember the adverts. That was it. Was a good advert then with like the the, with the fish and the, the fish, sea yeah. like quilts, yeah, and, and bras, <laughs> yeah. Were the bras clams, weren't they? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Well, Qualtis. I can't really remember it that much. I mean, I was like eight when it came out, but <laughs> yeah. Um, it says great idea on doing a Q and A vid. By the way, uh, congrats on nearly fifty thousand. And then he's also replied to his comment and said. Uh, what do you make of the new Zanussi machines that replace the Lindos? I'm really glad to see they are listening to customers' feedback. Flexi time, 60 min wash, etc. I feel like the new colour schemes, I, I, and I quite like the new colour schemes. Shame there's no filter and the drums are the same, but it's progress. If mine dies before they are discontinued, I'll probably get one. So I've got the new AG, which is so I can, I can't feedback it. So I've got. This, which I'm sure you saw in this video. So that is the new design um, of AEG. And so basically that's all the, all the parts and the parts and everything and how the programming works is going to be what the same, the same basically the same on the Zuzi. So I can only tell when I've had it for a bit longer. But so far I've actually been pretty pleased with it actually. It's a really, really nice machine to use and it is nice to have a 59 minute power wash thing. Um, yeah, so it, it's nice that. Um, so yeah, if Zanussi are listening to the customers, it's great. That. Um, also, and this is a, a little bit of a thing. I know people complain about the filter design, the fact there's no filter on it. But the thing is, to ordinary people, to me, it makes things ten times easier 
because when people always um, have problems with draining, they go to empty the filter and quite commonly the filter will not undo because it's that clogged up, um, something's usually jamming it. So that means you normally have to take the whole machine apart anyway to get at it. Now with the Zanussis, even though there's no filter on it, they still have a little coin trap thing underneath the machine, which will inevitably clog up. But at least um, you can just undo it and pull it down and then you can just empty it. For the next question, Cylinder Washer says, could you show all of your washing machines you currently have and explain a bit about them? Not like a history video, uh, but you know that you go around your house through every machine kind of maybe at 100k. So I think he's basically saying, can you do a collection tour? Yeah, well, um, yeah. So we've already gone through like all the machines I've got kind of thing. And that's basically the same thing. That's what you can see. I can't even go into the garage. So basically, um, that is basically the tour, tour of the workshop, because we can't get anywhere in it, because we need to start getting rid and selling some. Yes. Why did you not tell me about my hair? Oh, just pull this back. I, I wasn't concentrating on your fringe, Matt. <laughs> no, it was a bit sticking up here. Oh. Let's see. Um. The Stow has put two comments. He says, what's the most interesting things about your analytics that is hard to believe? And he's put, I've still got some Dyson's bits left if you're interested, dot, 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 FOC. Uh, Dyson bits, that would be great because then we can fix up the ones I've already got. I've got like five and four broke. <laughs> um, interesting things about my analytics. you got my phone, so I can't even view them at the minute. But... The interesting things, um, most interesting things are there's quite a lot of videos of mine that are over of over a million views in quite like two years, which is quite astounding. Um, the most amazing one day, the most views in one day um, was something like one hundred and twenty thousand views collectively. That was impressive, and that was back in March. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it from the stow. Uh, so moving up to wash machine man, have you still got the Harlequin? Yes. Oh, and you look a bit like photonic induction with that beard, lol. Yes, I do. Although photon, um, I think he was slightly older than me as well. So. You, you, you've actually replied to him as well, so he'll get a double reply now. Yeah. <laughs> Kuba and Drevsky, something like that. Sorry if I've said that wrong. Um, what made you want to start filming washing machines? Love your videos. Thumbs up. So I briefly touched on it earlier in the video. So when I created the vid uh, channel, I was like 15. Um, and I, because I've been watching YouTube for like a year on other people's washing machines, I thought if I created a channel, then I can comment and do my own videos and get involved in a community of people that are like me because people like me live far away and far apart. Um, it's not so bad now because I get to actually physically meet these people in person like I am today and even make actual friends with them because um, I can now drive. I'm the most important one. <laughs> um, but at the time, it was great because um, you could use a message system, just sending normal messages between people. Um, that we're halfway across the we're halfway across the world. Shakira Lover was uh, one I kept in touch with right at the start, and he lived in Australia and still does. Um, then and 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 then there's other people. That are still on YouTube today. That they've just grown up with me, um, following me in my footsteps. Since you were a little baby. Since I was fifteen. Still quite short, man. <laughs> I didn't. I stopped growing. At three. I stopped growing at fourteen. <laughs> I've been the same height ever since. So moving on. Just got older and got a beard. <laughs> Quite literally, just pictures of you, it goes from 
Matt mm. at three, Matt at seven, Matt at fourteen, Matt, Matt at seventeen <laughs> with a beard, and it's all just the same <coughs> face, just with a beard at the end. Seventeen is like just this little bit here, a bit of bum fluff, <laughs> and then like by the time I was twenty two, it's just like, like style beard, and then I've just given up, <laughs> just let everything grow out. Uh, next question is, what made you like washing machines by Wash Tech? What made me like, like washing machines? So, I just... Well, I've been into them ever since I was, like, a wee boy. Um, literally, like, my own lad's age. Um, but it never went away, ever. So I used to just do the washing as a child for my parents all the time. And basically my mum for, like... 10 years never touched a washing machine because I just wasn't let to do the washing since I was like 10 or 11. So I think that's hard for me to explain as well. It, it's one of those things that sort of went away mid childhood but then came back with a vengeance. But I don't really know where it started because it started before I even could speak, really. Yeah, um, and then I, when I got the ultimate and then the start of the sort of tinkering round, I thought that's when I got into, well, I don't know, hold on, hold on, how does a washing machine actually work, kind of thing. You know, instead of just putting washing in, putting it on the right setting and all this amount of powder and then watching it, how does a washing machine work? And then that just took off in its own kind of direction as well. It's like, I just love washing machines full stop and everything about them. Everything. Literally everything. Uh, Toji George says, do you ever imagine that you get this many subscribers? Because honestly, every subscription is well deserved and lovely looking AEG. Maybe that'll be the 50,000 sub special review, followed by the Dyson, if you could find it, of course. <laughs> it's Laughing buried. Face. In, yeah, that's the Dyson is buried right at the back of the workshop. Um, so I'll have to dig that out. LC was surpassed 50,000 subscribers. So I'm going to do a review of the AEG, uh, probably for New Year, actually. Um, what else do you say? Apart from congratulations on the AEG. Uh, what was his actual question? <laughs> uh, did you ever imagine that you'd get this many subscribers? Clearly not. Um... No, um, but I actually just love doing this. Like, I, I edit every day, or try to. Some days are so busy, like, like we've spent 14 day, fourteen hours out of the house that I just come home and I literally go to bed, get up and go back out there again. Uh, moving on, Annie Mooney says, is there a washing machine model that you dream of owning someday, and if so, what is it? Your videos are awesome. No, I just tend to just buy what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, current washing machine model in the market that I want. That, that statement was just so true. I, I just couldn't laugh at it because it's like just 180 plus washers worth of... <laughs> yeah, I mean, modern washer-wise, you know, there are models of older washers, I think, that I still... There are models that I want to buy that are probably not... that I want to be part of my collection, but not like my old... Mm, actually, no. To be fair, the AG 2000E. Yes. I think. Yeah. I think we both kill for that. Yeah. So, basically, if money could buy anything, I'd buy one of them. So, but it's um, so my um, nana had one in the garage, and they had it in the garage waiting for a timer replacement. It was eighteen year old at this point, um, and it had been replaced by a Whirlpool Inspirations washer dryer, which is obviously just a service underneath. Um, and they were waiting for a timer, and obviously parts were really kind of obsolete for it. So in the end, after five years sitting there, after the whirlpool broke, that went as well. Mm. But I spent many a year as a six or seven year old putting dry laundry in, spinning it round by hand, and advancing the dial by its, you know one by one, each notch at a time, and then spinning it fast with my hands and go. Shh, with noises of filling water of a pump and all this. Yet you'd never actually heard what it actually sounded like. No. And I had no idea what it sounded like at all. Um, not until basically we went into YouTube. Basically. 
And by then we had like Tim and Sub. Tim and Tub something like that. Tim and Tub, he had like one similar, didn't he? Yeah, he, he got that um, Hoover Matchbox as well, that was the blue facial one. I really, really like that one. That's like my favourite, along with the chematic of that range, though, it's my favourite. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's so sad because, I mean, didn't, didn't the AEG last until like 2005? Didn't you say something like that? No, no. So you were f talking five years, so no, we would have gone in 2001. Oh, okay. Two 2000, actually. No, 99. You would have gone. So you, you, you would have been like... nine ten. Yeah. Because that's when they bought the Candy Nova. R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, WFK2831 uh, says, What is your favourite washing machine drum and why? And time has moved along so quickly, I still remember watching your first videos. Yes, time has flown. I'd say time's flown... For me personally, since I've had my child, as soon as I have a child, that's it. There's no time left, and it goes so quickly. Years, literally, like the last three and a half years, have gone by so fast. Drum-wise, best drum, um, the honeycomb drum was like the first to come out with its micro holes, which then allowed it to not pull as much, and the honeycomb design allowed water to sit between. Um, to allow things to soak in water for longer, but um, the, the actual draining from the drum isn't that good because of how small the holes are. Yeah, it does seem a bit like counterproductive. Yeah. Not that I've really like looked that deeply into things. But... I mean, I suppose that's what like the spin care drum is like. You know, I mean, it was a cost cutting exercise for service back in the day, but because it was completely smooth. Wait, are we are we talking about Mila or service? Because you said now the we've gone from Mila to now like old eighty service. Yeah, with the spin care drum. Like the quartz, because my quartz has got him. Spin, spin care drum. Yeah. Yeah, like Mikey's didn't. I think I think Mikey's had been um, repaired a few times because there's had an AEG motor into it. Yeah. Which is very unusual. They either well for quartz is it was basically just hot point motors are used. Right. But um, I have heard that. Replacement motors, um, I don't know if they were ever fitted from factory, but definitely replacement motors were sometimes AEG. Yeah. So, drum-wise, um, I don't know. <laughs> they wash clothes. I've not really got a preference either. Actually, no, I'll tell you what the best drum actually is. It's in the Vizug. It's just a standard... Um, drum holes no no special design other than it has loads of holes in it and actually that's both that pulls as little as possible and extracts the most water as well mm -hmm. so cookie says do you prefer modern machines or older machines and why uh, Suppose it's different things for different reasons <laughs> yeah i mean older machines are kind of the mechanical dial, the noises of the motors, the motors have unique noises, and um, some can be real, again, but some can be boring and some can be really entertaining. But modern machines are exactly the same. Modern machines can still be entertaining, um, as well as being modern and up-to-date. I think I prefer... That's hard. Because I don't really have a preference to older or newer. Unlike you know, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of you out there who would rather watch an um, an older hot point or an older service or an older even Beko, like EcoCare any day over a modern machine. But I just like all of them really. So I don't know. I'm gonna. I, I'm. I'm can I skip the question? Yes, that's um. fine. We're still like four hundred and twelve. <laughs> questions um uh, mel green says have you counted your collection recently no it got to 160 uh, last time i counted i thought um, that was 180 was it yeah it was 180 yeah. we'll go with 180 <laughs> <laughs> that... more, like, more like 200 but yeah 
you've actually replied to that comment and it says no last time I got to like 160 which is a lie and then I stopped counting we got to 160 and stopped counting because um, I think it was 140 in the workshop at one point and 40 in the garage so I just said 180 but now there's sort of like 140 in the workshop 40 in the garage 10 at your house 5 here 3 in mum's garden <laughs> so um, Reese Isaacs has commented quite a few comments, I'll just condense these down. And his first one says, My favourite machine you had was the WMA58, and I absolutely love the WMA74. You have, a, it can fast forward like the WMA64 did, like a DVD player. You were one of my favourite YouTubers, along with Florence Ballard A3060 and the Vintage Boy 34. So, Reese Isaac says, My favourite machine you had was the WMA58 and I absolutely love the WMA74. You have it can fast forward like the WMA64 did and like a DVD player. A DVD player. Uh, you are one of my favourite YouTubers along with Florence Thank Ballard, you. A3060 and yeah. the Vintage Boy 34. Yeah. Well, I've obviously met... Um, Brandon. Brandon. Um, Florence Ballard, A3060. As for Vintage Boy 34, we've never met, and nobody will probably ever meet. It's just elusive. Yes. Um, uh, so the WMA 58, as far as I'm aware, is still actually going, actually. It's still working. Uh, but the WMA 74 has a bearing... You can actually hear it in the videos, it's starting to go. But then, so that's going to be going to somebody else to just basically keep their WMA going with like the board and stuff. So that will relive on anyway and go to good use. Obviously, I've got my WMM75, which is like the special silver edition, um, 1600 version, but that has fast forward as well. Mm -hmm. um, he also says. Have you ever had a Hoover 6 in your collection? No, because otherwise it would have been featured on the channel. And actually, I do, I do want a Hoover 6, but you just can't get hold of them at all. Even in like the last 5-10 years, they've just not been hardly any about. I'm guessing because the boards are... Well, it's more to do with the timer and the board connecting to get each other. So, because the, the timer... It's a bit like the old insert ins ins evolution kind of stuff. It, you know, when it goes wrong, it just goes round and round and round and round. So people just go, well, time, you know, the time is broke. Uh, we'll just get a new machine. Although all that ever was was just indicating a fault. And that was it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why you can't find Hoover 6s anymore. So, uh, Bosch Expert 2002 says... Which detergent and conditioner do you wish they would bring back and what is your favourite detergent of all time? Mm. Which detergent I want back? I want the old bold yellow one they had in like 2000s, late, late 90s. I don't really remember these to be honest. So it was like the yin yin yang 2 in 1 and it was yellow box of powder and they did a blue. Mm -hmm. Now the blue's back, the blue they do, 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 do sell, but the yellow never sold ever since. And I remember it being bright, kind of yellow, because it's what my mum used when I was growing up. And she used that with yellow Lenore, um, with the yellow cap in a blue bottle. Um, but yeah, the blue yellow bold I'd like to bring back. Um, either that, or I had the surf... The per no, sorry, the personal Naturals, which they did for a short time. I've still got the box, but they've never brought that back. Mm-hmm. And my favourite detergent... I use personal non-bio a lot. I do like personal non-bio. Um, it smells great. It washes really good. Saying that, Asda non-bio is just a good... I'm going to go with Asda... Actually, I'm going to go with Asda non-bio... Slash as the sensitive. And you're still on the same two boxes that you brought like three years ago. <laughs> I'll go through it quite quickly actually. I've got none left. You put we put the personal in because the personal box broke. I've noticed on them videos that you do that you just you just say that it's 
whatever one the box is in because you put the oh you, yeah you just call it as the non-bio when it's not been as the non-bio for like six months it's, no, it's still non-bio it's just now just generic non-bio <laughs> just put this non-bio in uh, Boris Vasilev says why do you like AG and Electrolux why do I like AG Electrolux because when they spin they just don't care how unbalanced the load is and just take off and then they spin quite rapidly up and down Mm-hmm. When you eventually nowadays, you kind of they do kind of faff around a bit more, but when you do, the Zanussi, the the Polish Zanussis are quite faffy, but if you get the proper electric stuff, it doesn't tend to faff around and just lets go, rock it off, and just doesn't care. <laughs> uh, Zanussi lad twelve hundred says, "What is your favourite model of Zanussi washing machines like? Is it Aquacycle or Jet System or something like that?" Zanussi, yes. just pure Zanussi. Yeah, I think I think he just likes Zanussi, so he just wants a, a Zanussi answer. Oh, oh, my favourite Zanussi is me um, Zanussi FJS uh, fifteen ninety seven. Is that the um, time saver thing you want? No, that's the one. That's a jet system. I got the one I got from Ben. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean. Yeah, that doesn't care either. <laughs> I don't care how bad and balanced the stuff is. Yeah, your Trixie Bendix, like, it um, went on to spin. Yeah. And it had a load of wet towels in. And it was really unbalanced, and it just spun it anyway and jumped. Yeah, it did jump fairly often. Towards yeah, I didn't care end. either. <laughs> I, I think sometimes at the start, when we first got it, my mum was a little bit worried that it was just going to die on us, so she'd just cram as much stuff in as possible, because the previous... Two washers, I think we got from you, and died in within like three months. <laughs> but yeah, we got the candy and something else, didn't we? You had the candy off me. Oh, the Mila. Yes. Which wasn't really off me. That was off Ben. Wow. Well, yeah. But anyway. Um. But to be fair, the candy, I kind of like just gave it to you. It's like just give me some of your money. <laughs> that that was before we were like friends. Yeah, it was. That was just when you used to occasionally <coughs> turn up at the door and then like waffle. For three hours, <laughs> and that was before you were more. Um, I, 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 I'm not let you into my home, and I'm not going to come out of my home because <laughs> I, I, I'm in. You were just, it. It was just like stranger danger. <laughs> yeah. So the candy C1040, Luke had for like ten months, and then that just kind of like completely smashed, smashed its door glass, and then it was just spinning. It just wouldn't wash at all it just just constantly spins so i think the triac uh, the triac are gone something i don't know we don't know we just threw it out and it was rusty anyway yeah it and was... it was missing its um plin uh, the thing at the bottom yeah the kick plate kick plate was missing it was rusty really rusty it, it was probably the weirdest thing that happened to any of the washers we had because I, I remember it really clearly we did a 60 wash before I, did, I washed my towels stuck it in the dryer about an hour later the dryer had finished I went back in get a drink and then I just did it was like a tapping on glass and I turn around and there was a split right through the middle of the glass <laughs> and, like, wah, wah, wah. and then my mum salitated it up and had a mental oh, breakdown <laughs> Oh my god, no, no, I have no washing machine. And, and then we used it for about three months, just as it was, because, yeah. And then we had a Miele W3922, so that's the one down from the 3985 that I've got, um, that we had really cheaply for like 70 quid. And then that just just gave error code after error code after error code after error code. So it was, just... <laughs> it, it was only with my mum's clothes in as well. <laughs> Never happened with mine in the door, every single time. The, um, the door, so the, the wiring loom that went into the door lock just kept falling out. And I gaffer taped it up, which made it work. And it didn't stop falling out, but then it gave every, all the error codes. And then it was chipping electric, and then it was like... Wouldn't trip electric, and then fine. And then it, would, then it wouldn't wash for a while, and then we just ended up pouring it in the shed, which is where it still, it still resides. Is. Yeah. Which is a shame because it's a very expensive machine that looked in really good condition. Um, and then after that, he had a Trixie Bendix CAW twelve hundred, which we have for two years. It didn't. And then the belt snapped on that. 
And then we bought the Bosch, you've now got the Bosch currently, the Bosch um, WFB2405. But that's still working fine. Well, touch wood. That's fine. I've touch wood. It, it's alright. It's a nicer machine than the Trixie Bendix. Trixie Bendix was a bit. Yeah, I didn't like the Trixie Bendix at all. It was very boring. Yeah, it can't, all it did was wash, five rinses, spin, and that was it. <laughs> At then, least uh, the Bosch was intermediate spins. My mum didn't particularly like it either. She didn't like um, setting a program because it was always quite hard to set and you'd have to bend down and oh, like, yeah. push the dial yeah. in first and with yeah. the hands. It wasn't great. Like, user-wise, it's not... It's a bit hard to use, isn't it? Yeah, all, all of them, like Zanussi ones from that age, are a little bit off. Mm. Like with the dial. What was the next uh, question? Oh. I'd completely forgotten that we were doing that. and I think we're at off topic a bit. Yeah. Go on. We're oh. about like, 70 questions in now, so... BSLX says, Never thought I'd finally be able to see your face after all these years, lol. I've already put my face on YouTube. I did it. With, I actually first like properly revealed it when I did the unboxing of the Bush uh, washing machine about two years ago. No, one year ago. Um, because I realised I'm like over now, so I does it really matter? <laughs> uh, here's a tricky one for you, Matt. Be honest, please. Do you watch all the YouTubers washers on YouTube? Oh, don't you have time? And that's from the Laundrette Explorer UK. Um, yeah, it is a tricky one because the answer is I rarely watch other people's washing machines videos. And that's mostly because I tend to get them in any way, watch them myself, and then I edit them and then watch them again. So I end up watching pretty much every single washing machine going, practically. And it's always best, best to watch one in real life than it is in, in you know, on a video. But... Understandably, nobody's got space for 200 washing machines, except me, kind of thing. There are lots of people out there that are going, but, you know, to experience different washing machines as vastly as me, um, no, yeah. I, don't, I don't watch other people's washing machines, because I, I, I really don't have time. I mean, between a 40-hour job, uh, I have a 40-hour weekday job, and then obviously I have to repair the machines in the workshop, and then I've got to set them up and film them, and then I've got to edit them. And the editing, to edit the amount of hours that I do anyway for YouTube is probably about another 20 hours. And then I've got to look after my kid. Um, so yeah, I don't really have time at all, really, just to do anything. <laughs> uh, Blake AEG says, I would like to thank you for all the videos you've done. So much time and effort you put into them. Just one video where I would love you to do it is one of the internals of one of your rattling LGs. I would love to see what's making that racket inside the machine. They're mm. great machines, but the noise some of them make on spins, lol. Yeah, it's talking about most LGs do that, like I said. So to me, it's kind of normal, but it's definitely not right. That's also being said, the e bat rattles as well. Now I've come to the conclusion that the reason why LGs do it is if they're not perfectly level, something in it is making it rattle, I think. Um, but I've got to fix, I'm going to explore it a bit more than that. It's the reason why a lot of LGs were also returned, oddly enough, to um, be refurbished. But yes, I will try and do a video like that. Let's try and explore it. Elvis Polk Salad 1974. Uh, what was your first ever washing machine and what is the most expensive washing machine you have? The first one I ever kind of, kind of bought was the WT960 when I was still living at home when I was like only 14 years old. Which I paid half towards two at the time. Mostly because my parents didn't really have the money to buy a new one. But we just bought a new one anyway. Um, so yeah, there you go. Ooh, just looking actually, there. and then the second one I actually bought outright was the Samsung Diamond Drum WF eight eight zero four RPA, which was still living at the parents at home uh, at home with the parents at the time. So, final question: We've made it through it all, right? Duncan seventy three says, 
First of all, congratulations on 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. Second of, all, second of all, I'm excited to see that the AUG 9000 series washing machine is all that I thought the 9000 series was similar to the 8000 series, but I don't know what AUG is in the UK is like. And then in brackets, I'm from Australia, so I won't question it. Now for my question. <laughs> when, uh, when watching your testing videos, I've noticed an LG washer-dryer combo in the background. Uh, Are you yes. going to do videos on it? I've also noticed you've stopped updating and creating playlists, but I understand why you stopped. That's all I have to say, and one more time, congratulations on 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> so, to create play playlists, I have to be connected to the internet at home on my laptop and create them that way. You can't do it on the phone, you can't do it on a YouTube Studio app, which is how I normally put the text in and stuff when I've got time on the move. Um, so that's why I don't really do play playlists. Um, or update them. When it comes to um, what was the other one? What other one? So you asked about. So you said you mentioned about the playlist, but you, that wasn't the actual question. The actual question LG. was about the LG washer dryer. So the LG washer dryer combo that I've got in the background, I've had in the workshop for about two years now. Um, it's got a hole, um, basically where the dry unit comes in. And it's basically overheated and melted the tub. So that needs to be done. Other than that, that's the only problem with it. But it's one of them, it's kind of like a big job. And I'll do, I will do it, but we need like a few hours to do it. I've got the, I've got the stuff to do it with. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff that needs doing, and it's probably more than a lifetime's worth. So, oh, yeah. as and when, yeah. is another story. Yes. When it'll get repaired, it'll be someday. <laughs> you, your son will probably be about seventeen by that point. Mm. I'll become vintage by that point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it now. Hot point for chill washer asks, "What is your favourite brand of washers?" Hot point. Um, I actually, the build quality is rubbish. They don't really wash that well. They don't really rinse that well. Uh, the 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 long winded, especially on the the modern indesit stuff, um, but the fantastic to wash, what watch. Fifty thousand subscribers. It's actually fifty thousand and thirty something. Oh, so you already knew. Yes. <laughs> Th thanks for bursting my bubble. I thought it was showing you something like important. <laughs> Right, anyway, I think that's finished now. Oh, that was a good one. Mm. Hold on, you asked... Elvis Pro... You did ask, you asked, you said this. What was your first ever washing machine? But you didn't ask the next... I don't... I, I think I, you I asked did, it. I did, you just blanked it out. Sorry, so... Elvis po Poke Salad 1974 also asked what is my, my most expensive washing machine I have. Currently, is the V-Zug. I paid 400 quid for that. But the most expensive I've ever bought was the Samsung WF8804RPA, you know, 12, 13 years ago. It feels like 12 years ago, it's not about 10. Well, it was 500 quid, that's the most of it I've ever spent. Right, thank you for subscribing, watching, and... Just waving. <laughs> Luke being included in my videos and asking me all your questions. Thank you, uh, this, is, uh, this should be all scripted really. Yeah, I don't script my videos, so we just do this off the bat kind of thing. We're, we're not very good at this yet, to be honest. I no. Mean, I've not really done this that much before, and I'm a bit boring to speak to, so. Yeah, and but, but to be honest, if I compare to myself and like today, as it was when I was like 16, 17, I'm a lot more enthusiastic. I'm much more enthusiastic, I've noticed. And um, I put, I do talk a lot more than what I used to, which is normal in everyday life for me, really. You know, I kind of talk a lot. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you to all of my 50,000 subscribers. I'd like to thank everyone who watches me, whether it's once in every day or once in a while. I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope that you watch, uh, find my videos therapeutic. I just enjoy them. Here's to 100,000 subscribers.
Maybe I should do another Q&A when I hit 100,000. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. You need to do a Brandon. What's that? Keep it supreme and go with the flow.